Although we miss Bob being here, I can tell you that if he were making this report, it would be you give a large pledge and we will be fine, period. <laughs> <laughs> However, you got me. And as he ends our conversations with our children by saying, now your mother just has a few more instructions. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a few more instructions. The stewardship campaign is very important in the life of our church. Through it, the church receives pledges of financial support for St. Louis ministries and programs. And it is what you give today will mean the level of the programs to be funded in the next year's operating budget. As Dan said, we will be passing the baskets and please put your pledge in and have it blessed at the altar, joining us in doing the same. If you've forgotten your card, don't worry about it. We've got you back. You've got cards in the pews, extra cards in the pews. Our theme this year has been investing ourselves through acts of faith, hope, and love. For weeks now, our fellow professionals have told their stories and offered glimpses of what makes St. Luke's so special to them. And now I want to take this opportunity to share with you why Bob and I support St. Luke's. We have been members of this wonderful congregation for over 40 years, and I'm not gonna say how many over. And with God's help and the help of this community, we have raised, speaking totally objectively, two fabulous children <laughs> who are now happily married and one of the and have four children. Their names are, I know you wanna know, Lila Jane, Reese, Zanny, and Bobby. And the two latter will be singing at the even song tonight, which I know y'all won't be able to resist. <laughs> and one of my greatest joys now is sitting in this magnificent place at nine o'clock, for some of us, 9, 10, 9, 15, um, and having those children and grandchildren around me. And in, the spirit of full disclosure, I've got to say that I'm not sure the joy is shared by all of those around <laughs> us. Now, what is this worth? I think as a cradle Episcopalian, I can explain it this way. A man says to his friend, have you seen what they are charging for scotch these days? And the man replies, no but they'll never be able to charge what it's worth. <laughs> now, Bob and I will never be able to give back to this place and to God what he has given to us. And I suspect that's true of you, but we must keep trying. And I'm going to close with the words of our beloved now deceased past priest Ray Parkins, who used to say on a regular basis, life is fragile and uncertain, so remember to be prayed up and prayed up at all times. <laughs> and my sincere prayer is that we all leave here today being both. God bless this place. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Well said. Bob, as Jane said, is in the hospital right now having had surgery. He's on his third knee replacement, which anatomically should not be possible. <laughs> just, just for a moment, just out of curiosity, how many of us have had major surgery sometime in our life? How many of us know someone, have experienced somebody who's had major surgery? You know, I'll, I'll have to say Bob's experiencing this right now, and I experienced it. Um, I had three months where I couldn't come to church. And you know, the truth is most of us get up on Sunday morning, as Jane so articulately said, and come to church, 
and we kind of appreciate what goes on around us, but I think until it's removed from you and you can't have it, do you suddenly realize how vitally important it is to you? I missed you all. I missed the church. I missed the ministries and this place. And therefore, when it comes time for me this year to fill out the pledge card, I will do so with renewed vigor. Because I know what it's like not to have St. Luke's in my life. And to borrow a phrase from somebody who spoke it fairly recently, do you believe? Do you believe that God is at work in this place? And then if you do, give according to the abundance of God's generosity in your life. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.